Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping into Claire Audience Truth Speaker. I go by the name of Q, and as you know, we have been, you know, keeping it very consistent on these parts. I mean, I haven't been doing daily uploads, but I have been doing it um, as frequent as I can. So I did say I was going to leave you all, you know, a download every single day or every other day. Um, when life isn't life and <laughs> so I think I've been doing pretty good thus far I think I may have gone a maybe a day or two without uh, pumping out arena, but how are you all doing today is moon day Monday? Uh, it's the second day of the month. This is October. So this is fall season. This is our month for those October Scorpios um, so this is a beautiful season, beautiful time, just a beautiful time to be alive, regardless of what's going on in the world. Um, you just got to look at it with a more positive outlook. Like I was destined to be here at this time and there's something here we're all, uh, meant to discover or learn about ourselves and even do, you know, there's a greater purpose for you being here. And I feel very strongly that it is our duty to discover what that is, what that might be. I absolutely feel we are all meant to be beacons of light to other people, you know, help to guide those who may not be as informed or as much as in the know as you may be. Um, give people hope, give people inspiration, drive, encourage folks. So, you know, this is a beautiful time to be alive. We know um, I posted on my on my um, channel the 4th, October 4th. I don't know if you all have been hearing rumblings of October 4th and how the, you know, the FEMA emergency signal is going to be going off. Uh, but make sure to get out in nature, like just kind of disconnect from whatever, you know, simulations they're trying to get us caught up in and trapped into just get out of nature you know that's what I'm going to do I'm gonna definitely take myself up out of the matrix and you know it's a good time to unplug disconnect don't be looking at your phone going crazy trying to dial folks I think that's what they're trying to incite is fear um, and not even think or try that's what they're trying that's what they're inciting is fear and if you don't you know get caught up in it then you can't get you know, it, it, it won't be, um, it won't affect you in the way that they want it to affect you. So instead of worrying about what signals you are or aren't getting, who you can and can't get in contact with, what, you know, services you don't have, just go out of nature, take a walk, let the time, let that just, you know, kind of pass by, you know, and lose track of time out in nature. Be outside in nature. Don't be in the house in a panic trying to call people like it, it don't even do that don't even listen to that signal to that sound that beeping because i do feel like again that that's meant to incite fear so do the complete opposite uh ground yourself um take your crystals out in nature with you and just connect to the energy meditate do some yoga jog you know uh go by sit by a body of water three 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 on the clock so that is definitely spirit's way of uh, letting you know that that's absolutely a positive way to handle whatever is about to come. You got to do the opposite of what they expect you to do. When you, you know, one thing that I feel the powers that be um, really holds to is is they assume they know how we, the people, will react or respond. So you got to do the opposite of what the masses are doing because that's how they win. So. I digress. That's just a little tidbit of information, affirmation for you all. Um, I definitely feel you, we are protected. The ascended masters are watching over us, protecting us, guiding us. I've been seeing a lot of 333s and 444s four, 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 um, throughout these past few, uh, couple of readings. And even in my own personal daily life, you know, there's just confirmations all around me that all is going to be well, but you have to be in control of your own subconscious thoughts. Do not allow people to plant seeds of doubt and plant seeds of fear in you. Ashe. So I digress. How are we doing, beloveds? I will. Everyone is balanced, grounded, and in alignment, feeling healthy, feeling strong. I am absolutely feeling 100% right now. I can say that. I feel 100%. I feel great. I'm thankful. 
uh, to be alive, thankful to have my strength back, get thankful to have my sense of taste and smell as well. Thank you all who has been sending those positive vibrations and prayers and strength to me. I rotate all that love right on back to you. To anyone that may be new, as I said, my name is Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath and I'm also clairaudient. So the way that things work on my side of the planet is I do uh, play music and the name of the songs, lyrics within the song, name of the artist, and maybe even the timestamp on the clock, it will all correlate to what I may be channeling as well as what the cards may be showing. And it all blends very beautifully. Uh, so my spiel here is eat the fish spit out the bones if the reading doesn't apply let it fly by never try to force anything to be your story just take what applies to you what's applicable and leave the rest you know what i'm talking about um my readings are also timeless so whenever this video popped up in your feed whenever you felt compelled to click play be it the title be it the timestamp uh that was divine timing and in divine order that you've done so beloveds to all of my beloveds that are returning you already know what it is love is love is love is love is love i gave y'all some extra love because i love y'all that much so let's go ahead proceed with the read um and do some house cleaning before we do our shay all right I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun, to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mode it be. Ashe, 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 yo, beloved. So let's see what time we have on the time, Klizak. So it is 1121. So that breaks down to five, beloveds. Can you see that? 11, 12, oh, 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 I hit the thing, 1121. So that breaks down to five. So five is definitely dealing with your throat chakra. So perhaps some of you all are expressing yourselves, perhaps communicatively. Maybe you have some meetings, um, you know, that you're a part of at work. Maybe you're going to be uh, presenting at your jobs. Maybe you're doing some um speaking engagements, uh, perhaps you're using your artistic and creative uh, expression. Uh, this definitely speaks to tutelage, studentship, because uh, that five deals with the hierophant as well. So maybe you are going through some sort of training classes. Maybe you're going through orientation if you just got a new job. Um, but there is this sense of learning, growing, building your skill set, mastering your craft, perhaps honing a skill. Uh, but I'm also getting a sense of communication. Someone may be communicating to you. Maybe you will uh, be expressing something. Um, but as I said, that does deal with the, um, you know, with your uh, throat chakra. So uh, either you're expressing yourself communicatively, verbally, orally, or there will be uh, someone doing that to you. Or you could just be, you know, tapping into your divinity uh, and just being creative, use, you know, sharpening your sword, um, learning something. Maybe you're learning a new skill. Maybe you're building your skill set. Maybe you're mastering your craft, whatever it is. I do feel this, this energy of like, you know, mastering something, learning, you know, uh, so that's a beautiful energy. What we have playing on the playlist is we have, um, uh, Xavier, uh, Amari, um, and this is called blind man. So this is called um, Blind Man, and this is a beautiful song. He's like, um, you know, basically saying he would love someone even if he were blind. The characteristics would still shine through, even though he may be a blind man, because it's the love that this, you know, divine feminine, um, you know, displays, you know, the energy, the, 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 the um, nurturing, you know, the care, the tenderness. So he's like, I could love you even with my eyes closed, you know, so maybe there is someone confessing that they have some sort of admiration or attraction, attraction, pardon me, uh, to another person. Um, 
but it's a very beautiful energy. I also feel like they're saying love is blind. So maybe you may be attracting someone that might not be, um, your usual type, you know, but you're still finding yourself, um, drawn to this person or attracted to this person, or you're still feeling some connectedness to someone, um, you know, so that's what I'm picking up intuitively. Let's see what the cons have to say, beloveds. So we're going to start off with the numerology deck as always. I just like to start off with the numbers. So what do we have here? We have 41. This is another five. So we started the reading with five. And here we have a five opening up the reading with the cards. Um, so that's been happening because even in the last reading, if you go back and check, uh, the reading started with the number 12, the timestamp on my clock, uh, my phone was 12. And then when I looked at the timestamp on uh, for the reading, it ended at 12. So this is the second time that synchronicity has occurred. So it's very beautiful when that happens. So 41, again, I just went into the diatribe of the breakdown of that number five, the Hierophant. Um, but also we see here self-discipline. So some of you all can be learning self-discipline or could have redirected your energy um, into, you know, like I said, mastering a craft or sharpening your sword. Uh, maybe you've been through some sort of conflicts with people because this five is also given like, you know, maybe that five of swords energy or the five of wands energy where there's competition or there's confusion, chaos, arguments, um, or every, it's just like when you look at those cards, there's just so much chaos going on, smugness, um, hostilities. And I feel like through you, you know, minding your business and mastering your craft, you've learned to, you know, really take control of your own um, you know, of yourself. This is self-discipline. So you have self-worth, self-value. You also have self-love. Um, it's all encompassing of that. Self-discipline is all encompassing of those, of those things. So I feel like that's what you focused in on. It's almost like you kind of redirected your energy, even on the five of swords, you'll see there's three people on that card, especially on the traditional tarot card. Uh, there's a gentleman holding three swords, two are on the ground, and then there's two people walking away. So I feel like you may be one of those people that walked away from the drama, from the negativity, and that shows self-discipline. You know, when you know not to engage with nonsense, um, it's like you literally uh, will remove yourself from it. And with, you know, blind man, you could have been dealing with someone named Xavier or Omar. I know there's an, uh, um, an institution like a university, Xavier College, and I believe it's New Orleans because my grandfather attended that school. Um, so maybe some of you all are from New Orleans or you've attended Xavier College or maybe you're dealing with someone named Xavier or Omar or maybe you are uh, someone named Xavier or Omar. But whatever the case may be, I'm absolutely getting a sense of someone um, having some self-control um, and, and channeling their energy because blind man, uh, maybe some of you all um, didn't see something initially. Uh, maybe someone was kind of duping you. You know, maybe someone was kind of gaslighting you. Um, and you were blind to the facts. You were blind to the truth of what was taking place. And when you rechanneled your energy and focused on yourself, that's when you were able to master something. Uh, but that's what I'm picking up. We got people get ready and this is the impressions. So you definitely like, there's a saying, don't, you know, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. So with the impressions, I feel like that is perhaps the impression that someone may have left on you. Um, is that you have to stay ready. You can't be getting ready because you're already, you already lost. I just saw 1344. So that's 444. So that's your angels. I feel your angels are also telling you to prepare yourself for something, brace yourself for something. We have teaching and learning here, 12. And then we also have this, um, self-discipline. So this is showing that you have been mastering your craft. Just as I said, learning, building your skill set, because that's what that hierophant is all about. You could have been sitting at the feet of a master teacher or elder, uh, you know, maybe even, a matriarch or patriarch in your family, maybe someone that you look up to, uh, perhaps you're getting your rites of passage or you are being initiated into something. But this is an energy of like, when the student is ready, the teacher shall appear. And when, you know, the teacher appears, then, you know, this shows that you are 
prepared, that you are, you know, ready to uh, elevate yourself, to grow. Um, so this is beautiful energy because this three and this five reduces to eight. So when you, you know, really take action um, or take accountability or take initiative, you would take initiative is a better word um, to to learn or to grow or to self improve, then I feel that you know, kind of catapult you, um, in a better direction. And I feel like spirit is saying like, you know, uh, get ready because the impression that you've left, um, perhaps on spirit, God, your guide, your universe, angel, God, most high ancestors. Uh, it's like the impression that you have left is that of, um, strength, you know, cause this eight also deals with the strength, self resilience, self preservation, um, power, um, so this is a beautiful energy. You've left a, a positive impression on folks. We have Nas right now, and this is called New York State of Mind. So some of you can be from New York, but you have relocated to other localities, but you still maintain that you know, that street knowledge, or you still move the way you would in New York. You keep your head on a swivel. You're very self-aware. And that's what I was picking up also with that, you know, people get ready. It's like, you don't, you know, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. That's almost like, you know, you're very self-aware. You're very um, observant, perhaps. Very, um, you're one of those people who kind of like, like I said, you're observant. You analyze the crowd or you scan the crowd. Uh, but this eight also is saying that this there could possibly be some wish fulfillment. I just saw 16, 16 on the clock. That's seven, seven. That breaks down to 14, which is five. So something you've been waiting for patiently. Um, I definitely feel it's coming in, but it's taking its time to get right. So good things take time to get right. And I feel it's going to be surprising. I feel it's going to be like a wish fulfillment. Uh, some of you all could be seen as a queen or seen as, uh, you know, a king because Nas is from Queens, New York. Um, I do get movement. I get steady, you know, quick, swift movement. Is something coming in like a wish fulfillment, as I said. I also get a sense of you maintaining and holding on to your hope and optimism, walking in faith. So those are the cards that were chosen for you. They were just kind of laying on top. We got the five yet again. So you're seeing a lot of fives, you know, showing up. So this is showing the change, the change that you've made. Definitely uh, something is changing for the better. I feel a conversation could possibly change um, your perspective. It could change. It could leave a positive impression because we just had the impression singing people get ready. So someone is coming in and they may impress you. They may uh, with their conversation or, you know, they may express something because I was getting sense of someone having something they want to say. And right underneath that is, uh, you got this uh, spiritual partnership here. So you could be aligning with someone um, that is your divine counterpart. Um, I'm absolutely getting a sense of you meeting someone that you have a lot of synergy and chemistry with. I was picking up the fact that perhaps there may be, this may be like one of those scenarios where it's like opposites attract. It may not be your usual type. Um, and not in the sense of someone not being attractive, but just something that you typically wouldn't go after. Uh, maybe it's someone from a different ethnic background. Maybe it's just someone that's, you know, maybe you're um, a taller woman and you find yourself attracted to a shorter man or vice versa. Maybe you're, uh, you know, a super uh, athletic build man and you may find yourself falling, you know, into like with someone who is, you know, a BBW, you know, someone who's thick, someone who has a little meat on their bones. But whatever the case may Maybe even if it's not physical, maybe it just be, it may just be like, you may be from two different, two different, um, backgrounds, you know, maybe you're someone who's spiritual and then you may find yourself falling into, um, alignment with someone who could, uh, you know, be from, you know, maybe let's just say Muslim background or someone who could be Hindu or someone who could be a Buddhist, but there's something that's like different, but you're still find yourself drawn or attracted to that person. So let's get into the cards that fell. So what you have is you have the number one new beginning. So there's absolutely a major, um, a powerful, I should say, a powerful change, a powerful start, um, something exciting. And I feel whomever, whatever is coming in, whatever's surrounding you is definitely, they got the, they got the, uh, you know, the hots for you as, is what I heard, because uh, this is, you know, passion. This is, you know, the root chakra, the base chakra really speaks to, you know, passion. It also deals with the, um, you know, the, um, 
the sexual organs, if you will. So there could be a lot of sexual tension between this, this person. Um, but this is someone who is definitely looking at, uh, you know, pursuing you, taking action, coming in, because uh, this new beginning is really exciting. You know, I get a sense of excitement. Uh, how they feel about, I mean, who or what you're attracting, pardon me, is 44. So this is absolutely someone that's made in your likeness. Um, this could be a wish fulfillment altogether because I'm seeing like with this one and this 44 that breaks down to nine. So I'm getting a sense of like the nine of cups and these are both solid cards. So I feel like you both are solid individuals. I definitely feel you both have done a lot of work, um, you know, emotionally, you know, learning to love yourselves. Uh, that's what that self-discipline was also displaying when we first touched the deck was, you know, that you took a lot of time to work on you, to take onus and accountability for you, um, to not worry so much about what other people did, but to worry about what you need to do to get yourself right, to get yourself um, standing erect, you know. And so with this 44 is definitely giving a sense of like you healing, you know, from past wounds and traumas, really taking the necessary time, um, you know, to to get uh, to, you know, to become more emotionally intelligent. And I feel whomever you're attracting to you is also matching your fly in that regard, or they're a like mind. They will definitely speak your love language. They will definitely be emotionally intelligent and also emotionally available. I feel this is someone that will be very committed, devoted, someone who will have a lot of attraction and adoration and, um, just be attentive and affectionate and, you know, very loyal, you know, just very, um, very intentional is what I'm getting. Uh, I do get a sense of you being single right now, uh, really taking the time, you know, being in that hermit mode, really helping to, you know, or really, you know, focusing on, you know, getting yourself to a place, uh, you know, that you feel stronger, you know, where you're not uh, so dependent on other people or where you're not listening to outside folks. It's like, this is an energy of really uh, being um, within, you're going within, you know, you're searching within, uh, you're reflecting, you're learning. And when you learn, it's like, then you can improve, you know, uh, wisdom is the application of knowledge. And so I feel that's absolutely what you are. Um, what you're doing, you know, that's what you have been doing. That's what you're doing. That's why you are getting your wishes granted and fulfilled. What we have is Jody Watley, and this is called Don't You Want Me? So there's definitely someone that could be, um, you know, admiring you from a distance. There could be someone that's absolutely coming in because they're ready to love and they feel that you may match their fly in that regard. Um, someone's name could be Jody, Jody or Watley. Um, <clears throat> so let's tap in. So let's see how this person feels. I definitely feel someone will be expressing this and this may change someone's perspective or change someone's mind or this, this is going to be a positive change. So let's see, how does this person feel about our beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power and protection spirit. How does this person feel about our beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace. Thank you, spirit. Wow, look at that. And we got sick, that uh, three there, creativity on the bottom of the deck. Very powerful. So this card came right back out. Five. So I feel like someone definitely want to communicate. Someone definitely has something that they want to say. So I, I'm getting a sense you know this person also because this is the environment card. Every time I speak, my throat starts getting all blocked up. So this is someone that gets choked up. You know, this is someone that per perhaps they have difficulty communicating or expressing or being vulnerable or com um, emoting, if you will. Give me one moment, please. Pardon me. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is definitely someone that may be in your environment. This could be someone rushing in that you're not even expecting. You know, this could be someone that comes in abruptly. And it's like, they, they're going to be like straight to business. Like, don't you want me? Like, don't you want this? Like, because this is someone that I feel knows what they want. This is someone that definitely wants to ground the connection, wants to cultivate and nurture, build an alliance, partnership with you. This could be someone that will feel very fulfilled, uh, feel very familiar, uh, but this is definitely someone that your heart is going to open to this person because you're going to see um, just how pure, how genuine, how grounded, how earthy, how caring, 
nurturing this person is. This could also allude to the fact that this is someone that you may know. This could be like a secret admirer. This could be someone that you work with, you know, someone that you may go to work with. Uh, I just saw 2424 and that's 6-6. Six, six. That breaks down to 12. That's three. So this is someone that's definitely planning, preparing, strategizing how to take action. This is also someone that may see you if you're a feminine energy as a, an empress, as a queen, as a goddess. We did have Nas earlier and I was picking up like someone that sees another person as a queen or a king if you're masculine. This is someone that's definitely uh, seeing you as someone who um, has reached a level of self-mastery. And this this is like maturation as well. When you think of, you know, the Hierophant card, you know, that's that's how you mature. That's how you improve because you're sitting at the feet of master teachers, healers, shamans, light workers. That's why I said you're being ushered in or initiated in some form, some practice. Or maybe this is just speaking to, you know, that work that you've done on yourself and you're just, you know, you've emerged someone very mature, someone stronger, someone wiser. And this is attractive. And this all breaks down to five. So someone will um, finally, you know, express something. I get a sense of you knowing who this is, you know. And we have Summer Madness Live. That's one of my favorite songs. And this is by Cool and the Gang. I do feel this person also sees you as someone that's very cool, calm, you know, someone very... Um, you know, just you, you just got good vibration, good energy, you know, someone that is very, um, you know, down to earth. And so we have um, now Troop is playing and this is called Spread My Wings. So I get a sense of someone wanting to take a leap of faith. You know, this is someone that definitely even when you think of, you know, spread my wings, that refers to a bird and birds always allude to the fact that like angel messages, they deliver messages from the angels. Maybe some of you all finding feathers and that spirit's way of telling you that you're on the right path or that they're with you. You know, maybe you're getting discouraged in some form, even with this 144, I'm also getting a sense of some of you all being like anointed or being a part of the chosen. You know, you're here to live, you know, your purpose. You're here to heal others, help others, be a beacon of light to others. I was, you know, ch channeling that message. So with this 144, that is also, um, you know, kind of coming through as well. So there's definitely someone, how they feel about you is they just see maturation. They see a mature woman. They see a mature man. They see someone that handles their business. They see someone that's very grounded, someone that's very informed, wise, someone who's very skilled. You're a master manifester, very intentional, nurturing. You could be very earthy. We see this three creativity. So I was picking up on that, you know, queen and the empress is pretty much, you know, she embodies all of the characteristics uh, and attributes of all the queens, as does the king. You know, I mean, as does the emperor with the kings. Um, but this just speaks to you, you know, really tapping into your divinity. Uh, as I said, you know, being creative, creating new styles and ways of thinking, uh, perhaps your birthing life. But this is someone having some epiphany or, you know, that light bulb moment like, dang, this is a goddess right here. You know, dang, this is a, a god right here. This is a king right here. And I see relationship change. So I was picking up on y'all being single, you know. Uh, but now it looks like there's going to be a change in regards to that. You know, this could lead to marriage because this 56 breaks down to, to 11, which breaks down to two. And then you got the three and this five deals with institutions. It could represent marriage, you know, so you could be finding yourself uh, coming into alignment with your divine counterpart, your soulmate, your cosmic companion, especially with spread my wings. This is definitely, you know, someone that I feel, you know, things are going to take off. You know, things are going to really take off because I was picking up someone that is um, really feeling inspired uh, to express something, to confess something, to finally emote, you know, and this is, you know, them, you know, that three is them, sh you know, kind of mustering up the strength and the courage that deals with the solar plexus, you know, so your solar plexus is like, you know, maybe they're trusting their intuition to, you know, take action at the right time, you know, because when you think of the three, I also think of the three of wands, you know, where the, that person is kind of standing at the cliff and, um, you know, he's waiting for his, his ships to dock, waiting for perhaps a sign that something is like, it's a yes or it's a go. And they've received that illumination or that clarity with this yellow card, you know, maybe they, like I said, mustered up enough strength to approach enough strength to take action. Because this to me is also like a ready, set, and then go type of energy. So let's see what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios. 
Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection, spirit. A message. And with troop, this could be someone that is at a distance from you. It could be distance. That could be another um, another hindrance or roadblock, if you will. And we have 26 love partnership. I can't make this up. So this is definitely like a wish fulfillment. This is someone entering into your life. There's a love partnership that's going to feel like a wish fulfillment. This is definitely someone strengthening themselves. And we got spiritual career here on the bottom, you know, that was also there. So not only is this someone that is you're you're aligning with your purpose, but you're also aligning with your person. This person, as I said, like I said, was opposites attract. So I feel like, you know, maybe this is someone um you know, that you will bump into, but the attraction, the chemistry, the synergy, you know, and just the, the fact that this person just kind of piques your interest, you know, stimulate you in some way is going to take things to the next level. Um, as I said, this could just be someone from a different ethnic background, religious background. It could be someone that's different from your usual type. Um, but it's, it's, it's coming, you know, I feel like you and this person could also possibly do business together. You may be like, you know, like a power couple in that regard with spiritual career. I definitely feel like some of you all are healers. You know, every great healer has to first heal themselves. We just saw the teaching and learning card. So I do feel like based on whatever you've just learned through your karmic lessons, through your soul journey, your, you know, dark night of the soul journey through these, these lessons that you've been um, learning these past few years, I feel like it has been, it's been preparing you, as I said, for your purpose. We have 144 here and that number is associated with the chosen. You know, they say there's going to be 144,000 people that will be saved or that have a purpose here. And I feel you're one of them, especially with spiritual career. And I was going into a diatribe before we even touched the cards that perhaps some of you all are anointed, you know, and you have a gift. You're here to be beacons of life. Um, light, you know, and to breathe life into others. And it's showing out in the card. So I love that. Thank you, spirit. So what we have playing right now is the bangles, and this is called eternal flame. So this is powerful. So there is someone or something um, that you're, you know, perhaps that's hidden in the energy that has this eternal flame. This eternal flame is like this, this flames, passion, this fire that could also allude to like, uh, as I said, like a soul connection. That's like a, a, a very sacred union. Uh, perhaps this is someone you've met in a former life, in a past life. We have financial discipline here, and this is 48, which breaks down to 12, which breaks down to three. Some of you all could be perhaps, you know, kind of, um, you know, budgeting. You could be working on your budgeting. You could be working on your credit. Um, I'm definitely getting a sense of, um, you know, partnerships, as I said, working and teaming up with other people. You know, perhaps this is building an alliance with another person or coming into business with someone. I definitely feel like people see your value and I feel like uh, you will get paid what you're deserving of because the quality of your work deserves um, a higher pay. So 32, 32 on the clock, that's five, five, that's 10. So there's definitely this, this, um, surge of energy, you know, that you will, you're getting your just due. Cause that, that's the judgment. Maybe you've had a wake up call recently, um, to, you know, to follow what you're most passionate about. Cause that 10 does reduce to one. So that's about taking action or a new beginning. Maybe you're walking away or you've walked away from a job that felt like, you know, a dead end because you weren't getting paid your worth. And now you're coming into partnership or you've just recently got promoted. I just saw three, three, three. So yes, some of you all are definitely what happened was you are now being aligned with your purpose and this is going to um, garner that success and with this eternal flame I do feel it's something you're very passionate about whatever this is like this is something that you've mastered um, you're very unique so you have a unique skill set or there's something very different in regards to what you do in comparison to others and that's what people are going to be willing to um, to patronize you for because although it may be as the same service as others it's different it's more unique um, it, it's just like almost like you're revolutionized something um, it's a very different skill set that you possess and people are absolutely going to be willing um, you know to to uh, give you what you're worth they're gonna pay you what you're worth that's powerful but I feel partnerships alliances I feel even someone um, ready and willing to to uh, connect with you in that regard.
This is beautiful. This is dope. I love that. So we have effort. We got the 13 effort. So someone will be making the effort. I feel like your efforts are also being acknowledged. You know, I definitely feel like you've been through major transformations. You've been through enormous change in your life. And it's like you, you, you just dust your shoulders off. It looked, you made it look easy. You know, it, you really did. And I feel like that's what is most, um, most impressive. Uh, cause I was getting with, you know, the impressions that your angels, your spirit team, your guides, your ancestors, most high God universe is very impressed with the way that you've handled situations. You know, you, you definitely have put forth the work, the effort. I also feel like you have someone coming in willing to put forth the effort as well. That 13 breaks down to four. So this is going to change and transform your life because I feel like this is going to be different for you because maybe in the past you've always been like the breadwinner or you've always been the one to, you know, um, take care of the household. Maybe you was always the one that had to take care of the responsibilities. Maybe you were the more, the more mature one, um, who handled all the finances and the bills and always kept the job. Whereas the, your partner may have always been in between or always getting a job that was barely contributing. So now it's like, you're going to meet someone that's on your level or someone that's going to, you know, um, be equal to you. Uh, cause we do have this 13, like I said, that four, that four deals with the emperor. So this is going to be someone that is like, you know, business savvy, someone who's a mogul a entrepreneur, someone who's very, um, you know, uh, resourceful and, uh, practical and, and a go-getter more importantly, a master manifester, someone who's like that alpha male, you know, very alpha male, uh, type of energy who is the protector, the provider, um, but also someone that's definitely supportive um, and a family man. You know, this is someone that rules empires. Uh, so this could be a, like a leader. This could be someone that has like a leadership role or they're going to come in and that's how they're going to, um, you know, um, handle things. They're going to take the lead. You know, if you're a feminine energy, that's what you want. You want a man that's going to come in and take the lead and then you could stand alongside him. Um, <clears throat> vice versa, if you're a masculine, part of me. You want a feminine energy that could assert herself, you know, that could stand erect as well and, and do her part. So this is beautiful what I'm seeing. And that four also is the vibration of 1111, um, which is that soulmate cosmic companion uh, energy. This also breaks down to four, which deals with the heart chakra. So there's going to be a lot of love. Someone's going to be very intentional with the efforts. You're going to see their effort. You're going to see it with their actions. You're going to see it even in the way that they speak to you, communicate with you. Cause I do feel that's, what's going to bring about a change. Maybe you're not going to be used to that, <clears throat> used to someone, my throat gets, keeps getting blocked. So someone is really, um, really trying to, to, um, you know, really trying to improve, uh, when it comes to communication you know, uh, I feel like that's a hindrance or that's something that they fear the most is, you know, expression. This is not someone that expresses themselves. And maybe they grew up in a household where there wasn't a lot of, um, you know, um, like I love yous or speaking about your feelings or talking about your emotions to, you know, your mother or your father. Maybe that's what they grew up, the household they grew up in. And it's kind of hard when you grow up in that type of environment and then you get out in the world and, you know, that's not everybody else's language, you know, so now you got to change the way that you've been almost conditioned to think, um, to try to, you know, pursue relationships or to navigate certain relationships outside of the household. So that's what I feel this person is going through. Cause my, my throat, every time I speak, it's like, you know, this, this mucus gets blocked in my chest because I'm still healing, you know, even though I feel good, my body is still recovering. So I do feel like that's just, uh, almost like, you know, spirit's way of saying this person is kind of slowly, you know, breaking through, having a breakthrough when it comes to communication. And with this love partnership on the bottom of the deck, there's definitely, uh, you know, some beautiful, powerful um, connection that you will be forging with another person. So let's tap in. Let's see what we have going on. We're going to use the energy oracle. So let's see what we got. So we have Bonnie Tyler, and this is called Total Eclipse of the Heart. And we just saw Eternal um, Flame. Now we have Total Eclipse of the Heart. So whoever you're attracting, this is someone that is like really, um, they really feel 
really feel the feels for you, Scorpios. This could even be your energy. Uh, someone's name could be Bonnie or Tyler, first, middle, or last. And, you know, in, in the parentheses, it says turn around. So I do feel like there's going to be something that turns around. Um, this is, like I said, if this is someone that you know, um, there's something that could perhaps improve. Victory is on the bottom of the deck. So I do see a victory. I see a breakthrough here. So something may turn around in some sort of relationship because who you're attracting to you, I feel, especially with this environment, it could be someone you know, someone that you work with, someone that may live in your same community, someone you could have went to school with. I'm definitely getting a sense of there being a major breakthrough or turnaround in the situation and a positive one at that. And if you look, this is 28, that breaks down to 10 and that 10 breaks down to one. So that one is what we're about to clarify, which is the new beginning. So you're going to have a very victorious um, new beginning, very successful. You know, I also feel like you are having a victory over your haters, having a victory over nonsense. You know, this is also showing that you may have some folks that may be trying to come back to, like I said, um, gaslight, mind up. Just be mindful, but there's a victory here over that type of nonsense. So let's tap in. So you got victory in the sun. I can't make this up. Beautiful times ahead for you beautiful Scorpios, especially those of you that's been doing the work. This is a very beautiful uh, way to open up the reading. The split is like, I just want to end it here because this is gorgeous. You know, the sun is shining. You know, you also had the new beginning. The sun represents the dawning of a new day. You know, so with this new beginning, this is just like, you know, veggie backing off one another and they're both ones, you know, and this is also a one because the 28 breaks down to one. It breaks down to 10, which breaks down to one. So this is one, 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 and that breaks down to three. And remember we saw three, three, three. So I do feel like your strength, your courage, your wise dome is what's leading or is what has led to this very exciting, you know, change that's taking place in your life. It's going to be happiness and joy. I also feel like you're having major breakthroughs. You know, things are turning around as Bonnie Tyler is singing, you know, in your life. Things are turning around for the better. You know, things are improving. And I feel it has a lot to do with the work you've been doing. Look at this blossoming abundance and the sun. So, and that's a three. <laughs> so your angels, your ancestors are absolutely rewarding you. Um, and I also feel because, as I said, you are an ascended master or you not ascended master, but you are a master teacher or you're a healer or a chosen one. You're uh, anointed that you are being rewarded. You know, you're being rewarded. You're being acknowledged, you know, recognized for your efforts, you know, for what you've had to grow through, what you've had to learn, what you've had to endure, what you had to heal from. You walked away from toxicity. You walked away from drama, from negativity, from all of the, you know, ne uh, you know, that that smug, hostile energy I was picking up with with that five. So let's tap in, beloveds. So spirit, what messages you have for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power and protection for my beloved Scorpio spirit. And we do have an eclipse this month. Um, I believe it's on the 13th or 14th of this month. So there is an eclipse. So I do feel like during the eclipse or during the time leading up to the eclipse, some, you know, this may take place. Um, so, you know, that could be coming towards you. So let's tap in. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. I'm hearing two more. And then we're going to cut the deck, beloveds. I do feel you will have um, something really beautiful something really beautiful coming in and you also going to have somebody because I just get a sense of like some karmic that just won't leave you alone you know someone that's just keeping tabs also just kind of still minding your business I want to cut it one more time all right cut the deck we're going to clarify and we're going right out so there goes the moon I was just speaking to this eclipse that's taking place so this goddess of the moon is saying that this is something manifesting, materializing in your life. This goddess of the moon d definitely speaks to, you know, the things that are hidden. This is also about trusting your intuition. This 52 deals with that uh, solar plex, uh, not the solar plexus, pardon me, the crown chakra. So there is something uh, I feel that's manifesting, you know, 
um, and you know it's leading to this beautiful new beginning you could be dealing with a cancer a fellow water sign but I do feel like you have set your intentions we have uh, Shaka Demu and the uh, pliers and this is called murder she wrote so definitely I feel like there has been a death a transformation you know, and now there's this emergence of something new. I feel like you got to trust your gumption, trust your intuition. This also speaks of what's hidden. The de You know, like this is beautiful. This is a, a energy of like, you know, manifestation. And with this goddess of the moon, this could be, you know, a Cancerian energy, or this could just be speaking to your energy uh, of you just, you know, kind of utilizing that energy and that power of as above, so below, you know. Uh, 4444 four, four, four on the clock. So your angels are with you. I definitely feel your angels are um, granting you some sort of wish. Um, and it's going to shock you because the name of the artist is Shaka Demu. And that shock is what is kind of like, you know, resonating with me. It's going to shock you. It's going to amaze you. It's something beautiful. So as I was picking up with that solar eclipse, I was feeling like something was coming in perhaps during that time because we do have an eclipse this month. Scorpio so I feel like maybe that's what spirit is saying that there's something materializing or manifesting if you look at the moon there's like a star um watch out Katara please get down baby you're gonna you're gonna knock things down um you, there's like a star that's radiating here and that star is telling me that's like a wish that's coming through for you you see that star you see it so it looks like there's a star and that may be the very um, you know, th that may be the catalyst to you having this new beginning, you know, so it's beautiful. And the seven also is associated with that, that, uh, chariot. So I do feel it's rushing in. I do feel like this is something that's bringing balance. What we have here is appreciation. And this is the number 15. So this is definitely an energy of, you know, someone that's going to appreciate and value you. Someone that sees your worth. You know, with murder, she wrote, I definitely feel that's just speaking to transformation. Scorpios rule the death card, you know, so that murder, you know, that's, you know, very much um, in connection with like death. You know, that's how I'm 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 channeling it. So I definitely feel like, you know, for many of you, you've gone through a uh, major transformation. As I said earlier, you've been through enormous change and someone now appreciates and values you or maybe someone now can see um you know, who you are, you know, they, they like what they see. They like who you are now. Like this is like someone whose heart is open and someone who's ready to love someone ready to take action. Cause that four forty four reduces to eight. And that's like given the eight of wands, that's also that love uh, partnership that we saw in the numerology deck on the bottom of the deck. So this is someone whose heart is open. That green does deal with the heart chakra. So I feel like this person will open your heart I feel your angels and your ancestors are definitely aligning you with this person, conspiring behind the scenes because we just saw a 4444 and this is a 44. So this is who your angels have assigned for you. This is who your angels chose for you. And we have this appreciation. They will appreciate you, value you. They will honor you, honor this connection. You know, so why is 44 environment here for my beloved Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. And we have Al Green. I'm glad you're mine. And appreciation is still on the bottom of the deck. So this person is just going to be so happy. When I was picking up, there was some distance. But this is also showing that there's been a lot of growth, you know. This is reaching that level of self-mastery. This card represents the world, which is the last card of the Major Arcana. So this just shows that you've learned to navigate difficult circumstances, you know, how to uh, overcome tough circumstances as well. Reach that level of self-mastery. You have a deeper, more profound understanding of yourself this 11 is definitely showing now someone is ready and prepared to take action or to come see you they're making a decision perhaps of how to approach you because i'm getting like the two uh the of wands you know i'm also getting a sense of the two of cups where this person thinks the world of you you know they may feel like you know there will be an equal give and take because this 44 is a double number and for those of you that, that are new whenever i see double numbers i always feel like that's you matching someone's fly and vibration and you all are on the same frequency uh this is someone that's made in your likeness um the similarities and commonalities between the two of you and uh with this 11 here this eight and this 11 that breaks down to 10 you know so i do feel like this person may be having some sort of um 
you know, ending or completion of a cycle in their lives and they're coming towards you, perhaps to follow their dreams, perhaps to pursue their dreams because they do have an appreciation and value you. This 15 breaks down to six, which is dealing with the lovers as well. So I do feel like you're going to match someone or, or you're being paired or matched with someone who will appreciate and value you that sees your worth and value um, as their divine counterpart. This is someone that is, you know, when you think of the lovers is a masculine and feminine. So this is someone that will bring that harmony and that balance into your life. So divine spirit of peace, power and protection. So we have um, 13. It says uh, financial constraints. So how someone feels about you is maybe they feel like they need to get their money together. But Archangel Mikael is here to get it straight. If some of you all are going through financial constraints, being that the change card is here, it's saying that's going to change for the better. And I feel Archangel Mikael is seeing to that. Uh, because as I said, when you put forth the effort and you do your job to heal, um, and I just saw 49, 49, which is eight. So I feel you have a wish coming in. I feel like things are going to move forward and move ahead for you. Um, but someone could also be in a situation where they could be trying to get their finances together, um, because they want to approach you in the right way. Uh, perhaps there was something that may have occurred and there are some positive changes because the five and the 13 reduces to nine. And nine is the highest number in vibration of change. Nine also could be someone just stressing over money. And it might not be something that um, that they should worry about because there is, you know, something positively, uh, something positive that's coming through for you. But Archangel Mikael is here protecting you, guiding you. Remember, we kept seeing 333, the Ascended Master number, then we saw 4444, four, four, four. so that means that your angels are absolutely around you. Today is Archangel Mikael's day, Tuesday. We just had his feast day on Friday, um, so that was a beautiful energy to tap into. Maybe you've been working with Archangel Michael. Uh, definitely pay homage, light candles, um, and, and call upon him if you need him, especially if you're feeling uh, like your finances are constrained or you feel like there's, you know, some sort of blockage. I feel like he's definitely ushering in uh, some positive changes for you. Um, and he's also here to deal with your haters, to deal with whoever this is trying to keep you blocked. Because look at this energy here. I feel like whoever these people are, this is jealousy and envy. You know, these could be people trying to you know, uh, bind you in some way. And he's here protecting you because someone's trying to cause you confusion. Someone could be gaslighting and manipulative. This is someone that's very hostile, someone who has visceral and hatred and contempt for you that used to be able to do this to you. And spirit, Archangel Mikael is here and he's going to cut you free from that yoke, that hex, that spell, whatever was binding you. You got another angel here, angel of love. So this, cause this is what's helping you to, you know, find that self-love. Let me get one more message for how this person feels about our beloved Scorpios. Why is this five change in this 13 financial constraints here? And we have Sir Queen. And remember, I was picking up with Nas Queens, you know, so someone definitely feels you're a queen. If you're feminine, if you're a masculine, they feel that you're a queen, a king. You know, Sir is another, um, you know, uh, a way to address a masculine, you know, uh, a male figure, a mature man, divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Why is 513 here? Five change. Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, we have another archangel watching you, and he's dealing with the solar plexus. So that's the fifth, uh, third chakra I spoke to with that yellow creativity card, and there it is showing up. So what we have here is we have door to romance. So see that at 33, this is the love. The six, that's another double number. Someone is definitely mustering up the strength, the courage. This is someone that also could be, you know, trying to get their finances together. You know, but this daughter romance is saying whoever this is may have the key to your heart. If you look, there's like a lock there. So whoever this is could have the key to your heart. This is how they feel about you. Like, you know, they want to walk through this door. They want to express their love. They want to communicate or display this love. But they're anxious. They're stressed out about it. This is them up in their head, agonizing, ruminating, pining. How do I do this? And Spirit is saying they just need to, you know, assert themselves, be confident. You know, the solar plexus deals with your self-confidence, deals with your self-esteem even. So maybe someone may not realize, you know, that they are worthy. 
But this is beautiful energy because I do feel like they're going to work through this. These are the things that are hindering them and blocking them from communicating. You know, this anxiousness, this stress, this concern, and also their finances. They're worried about do they have enough to offer you or do they have enough to, um, you know, take on this role of the provider or, you know, even if it's a feminine, do I have, you know, because you, when you are, um, you know, into an, in, entering into a relationship, you want to have something to add to the build. Like I said, you don't want someone that you got to kind of take care of. You want someone that's going to come in on equal playing field. You know, you're not looking for somebody who's going to have, you know, millions of dollars, but you, it's just like, you just want someone that, that you don't have to take care of, so to speak, if that makes sense. And we have Elder Barge singing. Okay. I can't, that was the concert. So I don't want to really do that. Uh, we have Call J. Cole playing right now. So remember I said this person wants to speak to you. They want to communicate, you know, so call J. Cole. Someone's name could be J or Cole, first, middle, or last. Someone could be from Fayetteville, North Carolina, or California. Someone's name could be Kendrick or Lamar or have a K, an L, a J, or a C in their name that you could be dealing with. But this is someone that wants to communicate. But they are stressing themselves out because they're worrying about too many things. It's like they're worrying about their money. They're worrying about what do I say? They're worrying about taking action. You know, they're worried about perhaps, you know, being rejected even, you know, but we have this five change. So with a conversation, things can change for the better, you know, and perhaps this person will, you know, um, take action. Maybe they just see, you know, maybe they're a little intimidated by you as well as what I'm getting. But with call J. Cole, I feel like that's what, you know, how they feel is they want to call you. They want to communicate with you. They want to express something, but they are trying to, uh, you know, muster up the strength and the courage, you know, that solar plexus definitely deals with that. This is someone that does value you, someone that does appreciate you, someone that sees your worth, someone that sees, you know, your value. So what, why is this 48 financial discipline here for what's hidden in the energy? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. I see five, 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 that breaks down to 20. So that deals with judgment. Look at that. We have this beautiful archangel, another angel showing up. And this is the crown. Remember, I spoke to the crown, the seventh chakra. And this says 41. That's five. So this is definitely someone that is really uh, trusting their intuition because they do want to form this alliance. I also feel like you trust, um, you know, your own intuition and use discernment when making financial decisions or when doing things. Um, relating to business when it comes to your job, whatever it is. There's some folks that are hating. You got envy, jealousy, hostility here. This is mofo has been following you throughout the whole reading. Every time I shuffle, I saw his ass sneaking through or peeking through. And this is someone that's just has some sort of disdain or someone that's jealous. They always are ready and prepared for an argument. This is someone that likes to take you off your square by ruffling your feathers or getting you um, frustrated or anxious. And remember, like I always say, whoever angers you controls you. So stay in control of your own emotions. You know, we got yin and yang here. So this is spirit's way also of telling you, stay balanced, beloved. This 22 breaks down to four. So this could be a masculine if you're a feminine that does this to you. Or if you are a fellow masculine, spirit is telling you to remain you know, um, grounded, you know, definitely don't let, you know, someone come in and bring this type of energy. You really should be blocking that energy. You shouldn't give it any attention. You know, this doesn't deserve your attention. Um, and we have, um, crystal waters. This is called gypsy woman and this is, she's homeless. So maybe this is someone, um, that you could have left behind or someone that could be, um, just like a, um, transient, someone who just bounces from place to place, someone that could just be jealous because you appear to have everything going for yourself and they feel like they may not have it. Maybe this is someone you were in a relationship with and you both, you know, kind of broke the lease or you moved out and now they're facing eviction because they can't take care of the rent. Or maybe this is someone that you may have dealt with that could have done that to you, just broke out, left you with all the bills and you was damn near home. Or you may have had to pack up all your things, put it in storage, go live with family. This person now has hostility because they see that you've rebuilt. You've been growing.
growing, you've been maturing, you've been elevating yourself. And this person is pissed off because however they left you is where they're at now. So they receive karma. You know, they received a little taste of their medicine. They're getting their judgment call now. So whatever they did to you, they're getting it 10 times worth. This is someone who has a lot of um, anger towards you. This is misdirected anger. This is not um, something, you know, this is like projecting. They're projecting. And so now they may want to come back and be like, oh, well, where where's my, my table that I left at the crib? It's like if that table was important to you, you would have took that ish when you left. But this is someone petty Murphy, petty LaBelle, someone that's just coming back, trying to just push buttons. And it's like, don't allow them to stay grounded like a tree, stay balanced, stay in harmony. I feel you have someone that you are attracting to you also that is very much your soulmate, your cosmic companion. And this person is perhaps going to catch wind of that and they're going to be pissed off because they left the dime, you know, they left the dime piece, just being petty, just being immature, not wanting to take on responsibility. And spirit is telling you that whatever you're attracting, whomever you're attracting to you, no, 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 no. Watch out. You're going to stop my video, baby. This is Katara. I was uh, recording a video for you all the other day and it was getting good. And then she hit that button and turned it off and she loves to come. Hey, friend, she loves to be close to me when I'm doing the readings, but I just be scared. She's going to hit the button and turn off the video. And I did all of this for nothing. Oh, my little friend, do you pretty little face? Yeah, pretty girl. You smiling. I see you smiling. <laughs> but um, OK, so. Use your intuition, use discernment. Um, definitely, you know, some some uh, alliance or partnership is definitely developing. And I feel like Spirit is saying this is going to change. This is going to change something for the better. Uh, this 12, 3, and this 41. Um, so that's 7, that's 8. This is definitely like almost like a wish fulfillment. Remember I was picking up with that 3 also um, that, you know, you will uh, be paid very handsomely for your gifts. So this is definitely a uh, spirit's way of confirming that, that you're going to get what you're deserving of. So let's clarify this uh, 13 effort and then we're going to wrap it up. So why is this 13 effort here for the outcome? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection for my beloved Scorpios. Why is this 13? Thank you, spirit. So we have on the bottom of the deck, walking away. So that's powerful, walking away from the things that no longer serve you, but someone is definitely trying to catch your attention or get you to stay behind or get you to stay stuck on stupid. And I feel like you got to ig the ignorance, keep it pushing, beloved. Uh, but what you have that flew out is you have this happy family. So this is that number four. Remember, this is also 13, number four. Remember I was saying that was like the four wands, which is the vibration of that soulmate, that cosmic companion. So this is what the effort, the effort is you and your partner are are going to make the effort to build this family, to build this uh, sense of community even, to nurture this relationship. This is beautiful. Look at this beautiful rainbow. Look at these children, this family. This is what you're building. You're going to have that happy spouse, happy house. You have the second chakra. This is about doing what feels right and feels good to you. You know, this is also spirit's way of saying, you know, move to the beat of your drum. Stay true to who you are. But whoever you're attracting to you, I feel you're going to have a lot of options, you know, also. So definitely that's why this uh, sacral is here because it's telling you, you know, uh, to follow your passion, you know, follow your passions. Don't be, you know, um, don't be called back. Like, you know, leave that ex alone, leave them behind and pursue this beautiful union and partnership because I feel like you're going to have someone that is definitely um, going to be very, very much, uh, ready, willing, and able to, uh, cultivate a relationship, nurture a relationship with you and really plant seeds and roots with you really be that role model, really be, you know, that role model to your children or be someone that comes in and is intentional. Um, I feel you will have a lot of options, um, as well. So just, that's why this, you know, seventh chakra is here because spirit wants you to really use discernment when making your decisions. But I do feel they're also telling you walk away from the people, places and things that don't serve you. You also have patience here. So this is about, you know, like I said, good things taking time to create, you know, it takes time because people have to get right. In addition to you getting yourself right, there's people that also have work that they're doing, you know, so this is all about divine timing, you know.
And patience is a form of action. So it's not like you're just sitting around waiting, I hope. I hope that you are still staying busy, still healing, still growing, still maturing, still mastering your craft. We also have this Magi, I Magi Nation. So you could have manifested this as well. And there goes the fifth chakra. Yep. So someone is absolutely going to com communicate and express their feelings. This is someone that does want to say how they feel. Uh, and it's because they had some sort of wake up call that now is the time. And remember, I was saying that it was, it could have been distance. So you, you've been on a soul journey. I feel whoever you're attracting is also on a journey. I feel they're also leaving something behind or you've left something behind. Cause you can see she has like luggage. So that walking away, this is like leaving a relationship behind and, and following, uh, like I said, what you're most passionate about. Cause that's what the sacral is all about as well. This is about you know, prioritizing your needs now, not just appeasing and pleasing, not just doing what, you know, uh, you know, always compromising for other people. This is now saying, you know what, I'm gonna do what makes me happy now. But this is your reading, my beloved Scorpios. I hope this message resonated for you, beautiful souls. I thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. If you are new, I hope this message resonated. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Hope you like the way, you know, I read the vibes, the vibration. Um, if you did, please be kind, hit the like, the share, the subscribe. This is a reciprocal relationship here. Definitely, if you are interested in booking a consultation with me, uh, check the uh, description box below. It'll take you to my Etsy shop and you you could book there. Also peruse, check out my shop. Um, but thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. Until next time, I send a big fat out, Shayo. Peace.